Hi everyone. So I am a huge Captain America fan. I think he, I think he represents the best of what we all could be. And sometimes that just means being a person of honor and a person of integrity. So with that in mind, today we're going to look at some of my favorite covers from Captain America. And just by chance, my favorite covers happen to be by my two favorite artists. Uh, this one is by Jack Kirby, and it's from Avengers number four in 1964. This is uh, Captain America's first appearance back into the Silver Age. And next we have Captain America number 100. Uh, this is from, I believe, 1967. And even though it says number 100 on the cover, this is actually Captain America number one. Now that being number one from the Silver Age, not the Golden Age. This is Captain America's number one issue from the Silver Age. Um, at that time, publishers felt that starting the issue with number 100 or a high um, issue number gave the consumer uh, more confidence in the longevity of the title. So number one for, for Captain America uh, is actually issue number 100. Again, from the Silver Age, not the Golden Age. Two different volumes. The next book that um, I'm looking at here is Captain America number 111. Now, this is where we're looking at uh, one of my fan favorites. This is, as I always call him, this is the Rockstar Comics. This is from Jim Steranko. And you'll notice Captain America has a leaner figure here. He's leaner, he's ready for action. But I just love Storenko's cover dynamics, how he composes his image. Look at that triangular shape that he's got there, that triangular composition. Just absolute masterwork when it comes to Storenko's um, design vision. And this one, I just love this. Um, this is Captain America 113. And um, I believe this one is from 1969. And again, uh, you know, we've got that, that triangular composition that Storenko uses and just, you know, just the emotion that he puts into this image. This image tells a story alone, you know, just by, without even reading the, the interior of the book, you get this incredible story that's told within this image. Now, it's very interesting when we look at these books from the perspective of the character of Captain America. We start off here in 1964 with Cap coming back. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got Jack Kirby again doing the artwork. Look how regal Captain America looks. Captain America looks like a heavyweight when Jack Kirby draws him. You can just see the power of this individual. Uh, but when Cap came back in 1964, one of the things that was I would say tormenting him was the loss of his friends, um, Bucky, um, and just all the people that he knew that were close to him in the 1940s. Now, when we move ahead to uh, issue number 100, and especially once we get to the Storenko run uh, here in issue uh, 111, the focus of Captain America's uh, internal struggle, struggles turn from not so much his, um, his thoughts about the past as far as people that he knew that were close to him, his friends, but now he's starting to wonder about his place in society. He's wondering if his ideals, if his principles are, are out of touch with modern society, or well, modern society in the terms of the, of the 1960s. So that was a very interesting journey for Captain America. And for me as a reader, it was very interesting to, to just read about that. And I'm sure that, you know, I enjoyed it. And I think that you would enjoy these issues also. Um, you know, it's been a while since these have been out, so in their original form, but there's plenty of places to find them now, um, you know, that are affordable and just uh, easily accessible either in reprints um, or online. But if you have the time and the interest, check them out.